Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the post incident review. Now, previously I have explained about the communication preferences and I have already told about the Slack connection, how you can go, go ahead and click on the, or basically connect Slack and have the Slack chat enabled within your uh, incidents within Jira service management. Similarly, you can go ahead and do for the Microsoft Teams and Zoom. The process will be pretty straightforward. Simply you go to the connect. Okay. And then it will ask you to sign in with your basically if we go back here, you will see that we have to go to the chat and video tool similar option. And then there will be a connect option for the Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And you have to use your Microsoft Teams or Zoom accounts to sign in and then connect so that you can get all that integration available within Jira service management. The process is straightforward. I somehow missed my team's account details. So I'll be, you know, skipping this particular section. And you, if, in case you face any issues, it will be very straightforward. And I don't think that you'll be needing a lot more handholding into the enablement of Teams and Zoom. Similar to what we have seen for Slack, you'll be doing almost similar steps. So that is why you can go ahead and explore yourself. All right. Now, when we talk about the post incident reviews, right? So post incident reviews are the reviews or basically when you create a document, it's, it's a kind of document which helps the team to see what has happened. Basically, when somebody, some incident has been raised, what was the cause of it? What was the root cause? How can we avoid it in future? Right? So basically team, team goes ahead and brainstorms around that incident that has happened and post incident review is some kind of a similar thing that it's kind of an issue type within Jira that will hold all of the information that you want to collaborate within the team as a team and then put all the information into post incident review document so that any future incidents or the things that can be avoided based on the discussion based on the root cause analysis that you will do as part of this PIR that can be done. Okay. Now in order to enable PIR, what you need to do, simply enable PIR first. Okay. So in, in order to enable this particular feature, you have to go to the features. Okay. So in the project settings, go to the features and maybe PIR is not enabled at all. Right. So in the features, you will see that if I scroll down, you will see that we have problem management enabled and then post incident reviews as well. Let me minimize this. You will see that post incident reviews is disabled at the moment. Okay. So we simply toggle this button for the project. And you will see that it has been enabled. There is a pop up and we can request or add request types to start using to this category. Okay. So this is a request category that gets added. And if you go back here, you will see that it will be available as a work category. All right. It will be available as a work category within. So if we go back here, let me go back to the project. Okay. And in the queues, you will see now the post incident review is available. Okay. So if I enable this, you'll see service request incident problems and post incident reviews. So if you go to post incident review here, now here we still have to do some sort of configuration, right? So there is to start using the new queue. We have to first create a new request types the same way we have done for the incident and other request types, right? So we have to first create the request type or assign an existing request type to start using it. So what we'll do is we'll say add request types. And as soon as you will do add request types, you will get this particular screen and we'll get, create a new request type. Okay. So I'll say create request type and I'll say post incident review. You can put any description there. All right. And you can change the icon if you want to. So for example, I want to change the icon to something else. I'll choose a separate icon and then the issue type. Okay. So in the issue type, you'll see what all issue types. So you'll see that at default post incident review issue type is already there. So I'll go ahead and click on add default post incident review issue type. And that will add the issue type that is available out of the box and then click on next. So you will see that which portal group. So basically select a portal group. So you can basically add the post incident review to a particular portal as well. The portal that will be available to the end users. So if you want to have this PIR enabled for the end, end users, then you can enable it for a particular group or the portal that you want to. As of now, I'll keep it unselected. Okay. Because I just want to keep it internal and then click on create. So now you will see that post incident review has been created and it's nothing but a work category and 
a work category associated with an issue type which is post incident review all right so issue type is post incident review now in this particular request form or the issue view you can update what all you want to see for the post incident review okay so what all fields you can configure from here to see what exactly you want to view in the post incident review okay so this is exactly same that we have seen previously so you, if you want to configure you can go ahead and configure the issue view you can also see the workflow status right and how it will be basically shown all right request form is more for the end user if say for example you have associated this particular post incident review on a particular portal then you can update this fields that you want to see on the request form on the portal as well okay so that is where you can update this particular section all right so now post incident reviews have been enabled if we go back to the project now how you can create post incident reviews you can simply the the easiest way is basically go ahead and into the incident because for incidents you will be creating the post incident review so the team can go ahead and discuss find the root cause and avoid these sort of problems later okay so from the incident i can go and see open see incident click on the incident and here you will see the post incident review icon available okay so if i minimize a little bit you will see that we have this add pir okay so this add pir won't be available by default unless you enable and follow the steps that i have shown okay so you have to enable the feature first and then associate the pir incident type for that particular work category okay so now you can go ahead and if say for example for this major incident i have to create a pir so i'll simply say add pir and then by default you will see that it will automatically select the issue type if you're creating it directly from the incident okay and then you can see that request type is auto automatically selected as well this is what we have configured that for this request type use this issue type okay and then when you click it within the create within the particular incident it will populate everything you can provide the summary and then provide the description whatever description you are looking for for that particular pir okay so i'll say incident pir demo okay i'm just putting very minimal dummy text there and then you can associate the priority for this pir what what should be the priority accordingly if there are any attachments you can provide the details components labels etc you can select okay and also assign whom this particular PIR will be assigned and who all are basically going to work on that. And then in the linked issues, because I have already selected it from or created this particular PIR from the issue, then you will see that is automatically linked here. Okay. And once you are okay with all the information that is available here, you simply click on create and you will see that it's another issue type, right? So it's another issue type, which is of a type PIR that has been created. Okay. So if I go to the view issue, you will see that it will be a PIR issue type and the team can now collaborate, find the root cause, put all the findings in here in this particular PIR and then close this particular PIR and ensure that in future they have learned all the lessons and are able to avoid any common issues and mistakes that happen in future. Okay, so this is the PIR and you'll see all the details around the incident, etc. Everything for the PIR and a request type is there. And once all the details and everything is basically done, then this can be closed as usual issue type within Jira. The another option to create the PIR is simply by clicking on this create button at the top. Okay. And then selecting a particular project where you want to create the PIR. Okay. And then the issue type, right? That's the only thing. Basically, that's the only thing. It's kind of creating any issue type in Jira, right? So post incident review is nothing but an issue type in Jira and you can select a different uh, a PIR issue type and create a PIR with Jira. Okay. So these are uh, the two ways to basically go ahead and create the post incident reviews and then make sure that team is able to work together and find the root cause and resolve any issues and avoid issues. So that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much. For